This is an unboxing and a review of the Panasonic SCPM250 little music system. In the old days, we used to call this a hi-fi, mini hi-fi. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to quickly go through this little review. Now, just to give you an idea of the package, it's going to arrive at 58 centimeters by 27. And the height of the package uh, is looking at 20. So that's not too big. And moving straight in. You will get your power support, your power adapter plug. Here it is. You can see that this is for the uh, different country. This looks like the UK. However, here is another power adapter plus instruct little instruction manual. All right, so let's look at the power cables here. So you can see that they have provided two different power cables here. There we go. And an additional one here. So this is three different power options for different countries, obviously. There is an antenna here. I'll show you how to connect that up. A little remote control. Does the remote control have batteries? Let's have a look. Uh, so far, no batteries installed. I wonder if there is a little pack somewhere here. Batteries, no, no batteries installed. That is what the remote looks like. I will do the review and show you how to use it. Instruction manual. Now the unit itself, very light. That uh, I'm always concerned when the unit is this light. That's what it looks like. The speakers are. Over. Right, you will have to cut this. Okay, first thing I noticed, there are rubber feet on here already, so that's nice, you don't have to stick them on, it won't scratch and uh, scuff the bottom here. This has got like a veneer finish, although it is just plain old chipboard. So, to give you an idea of the size of the actual music center, this is 18 centimeters by 12... Uh, 20.5 but keep in mind that if you if you are taking into consideration the knob the volume control plus the antenna at the back here this is going to be 23 centimeters remember there is a extrusion point here which will be where you are plugging in your antenna so if we're looking at the back here you're going to see that you're going to plug in your antenna over there on what is half a coaxial this is just the inner of a coaxial and there is the two pin adapting plug there we go so that will plug in over there and for your speakers left and right so there's positive is red black is negative now looking at the speaker just to give you an idea of the size not very big the speaker width is 14 13.8 centimeters by call it 14 centimeters and the height of the table is going to be 22.4 so that means that if you have a desk or you want to put this under a shelf from the table if your if your shelf is uh, giving you at least 23 centimeters you are fine so from the floor from your um, table to a shelf 23 centimeters and you're fine and this obviously goes in the middle so now let's have a look at the total width just so you get an idea of the space that you're going to need 46 centimeters and that is if it's flush against the unit itself right so let's connect it up and review this thing in order to connect it up you're just going to quickly unscrew that um, review of the wires here this is copper this is stranded copper cable and why it looks uh, shiny like this is called tinning and means they've put some uh, solder just so that it doesn't uh, all uh, open up so just now what we'll do is we'll say uh, black goes in there and the red goes in there and for the other one same story okay something that I do like this has got a cloth finish as you can see this is soft uh, there's the woofer same story here and it's got a nice actual raised or, or uh, like almost embossed um, 
name here. So it looks pretty premium. And that's it. That is how we connect it up. So all it needs to do is to plug in and I will then do a review on the performance of this Panasonic radio. Right, having a look at the front of the unit, I am going to discuss the sound characteristics shortly. I'm just going to quickly go through the uh, front aspects here. You can see there is a USB. It's a USB 2. What I do like about this unit, it is, has an actual volume knob, almost like an analog knob, which is very useful uh, if you want to change the volume up and down. You've got the power on and off. You've got the selector. That's like the mode. You can go to FM. It has AM as well, but on only certain modules. So just uh, models. So just check that. Not all of them come with AM. Bluetooth, and then obviously the USB. Then uh, you've got the track selector and the CD, which comes out like that. CD, very thin CD tray and going back in like that. No problems there. You've got the Bluetooth pairing, bass and treble. What I do like about this is you can do uh, most things here without having the remote control. Uh, you can pair it. You see there's the uh, pairing button here and you can pair your phone. Now just having a look at the remote control while we're here, there's the power button dimmer because if it is next to your bed there, you can see it's got a dimming function. One of the reasons why uh, it's got the dimming function is you can use this as an alarm system. Uh, the CD, you can open and close. There we go. Uh, the remote is responsive. There's no problem. There is the Bluetooth button, the USB, the radio, track, uh, reverse, forward play pause what is nice is you can also it also has a search function here so it's not just next track next track it is also search within the track which is also quite important volume up and down stop the setup mute play menu sound display up down this is the album so you can go if it is a usb that's on here and you don't want to just go through track 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 you can go almost like folder 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 so album up and down which is also useful um, remember that if you are storing tracks on the usb it must be mp3 the specification says mp3 only right so let's put in the usb over there and let's change the selector. And what I do want to tell you is the dimmer is on. So let's make it brighter. You can, it does have some other features, which I'll quickly just tell you. It can auto power off, which might be nice. Maybe you want to listen to the radio before you sleep. And you can set the sleep mode as well. Uh, it does have something called a timer, which for me means an alarm. You can set the clock here. And then uh, you can set the... Uh, radio to wake you up at a certain time and the volume will increase gradually up so you don't get the fright of your life all right so what do you think of this unit now i have been listening to it for the last 45 minutes i uh, you know who am i to tell you about this radio well i will tell you that i do have an experience in acoustics i do have a master's engineering degree in acoustics and you're welcome to see it and i'll put a link to the master's degree shortly now I normally do a SPL test. For this radio, there is no point. And I'm going to tell you why there's no point doing an SPL test. This radio is not a radio that you're going to want to have at a big party. This is not the radio you want. If you are going to be wanting to hit it and have it loud and, you know, really get into party mode, mm -mm, not this radio. Now, I've tried different genres of music. I've got your house music. I've put some David Zowie, some flume, that type of music. The sound characteristic, I would say it's, it's not great. And um, I've also got some heavy metal. I also put some hard rock. I've got the foreshadowing on you. I've got some candle mass. Uh, again, I would not recommend this for heavy metal or hard rock. I then have some light music, some jazz, some Sarah Brightman, uh, some, some of those uh, um, more calmer or soft, what we call soft music. Uh, and it actually sounds really good. So to give you my uh, opinion on this, I would not uh, recommend this if you're looking for some thumping bass. Mm -mm. This is not the radio for thumping bass. If you're listening for, if you're looking for something that's got a good sound, it's clear, but not something that you're going to have at full volume all the time. This thing is a digital radio. Why I say digital? 
There's a lot of DSP. I can hear that when you make it louder, the DSP kicks in and actually uh, removes the dynamic uh, sound. So it is, uh, it is good in that way. You won't distort it and blow the speakers easily because it's almost like self-protecting. But you ain't going to get a loud, dynamic wide warm sound no and i know these uh, acoustic terms are quite annoying people say like what is a warm sound what is a dynamic sound well let me just try and explain that to you this radio when i listen to female vocals now why i listen to female vocals on a radio firstly is to test the dynamic range female vocals tend to test if the speaker is going to sound good it, you tend to find it goes off balance when the uh, female vocals stretch the the frequency range of the speaker and I did test it with Sarah Brightman anybody who knows Sarah Brightman will know that um, she is a good uh, uh, almost opera partly opera singer and actually I was very impressed the radio handled very well the speakers are very good now I've checked here this is not a speaker uh, driver this is just a port so this happens to be what you call a bass reflex speaker meaning that this is ported bass reflex means there's a little woofer that moves up and down but it's ported so that is supposed to improve the bass uh, often making it a little bit less uh, defined but in this case I found that uh, the bass was so uh, minimal it didn't really make a difference so I'm not this is not a uh, um, a radio you're going to be describing the base of because there's very little base to describe this is a radio that you will have on your desk for quiet um you know no not i'm not saying you can't listen to music i definitely i would definitely have this if i by my computer or near my bed uh, bed if i'm going to sleep but i ain't having this in a lounge or in a party venue forget it it's not going to happen all right so what i do like about it is the display is easy to read uh, it's got like a premium finish as you can see this is an old styling you can see these boxes you know this uh, almost this uh, um what do you call this? It looks like it's you know made out of wood and it's a premium finished and proper labeling here. This cloth is really how it used to be in the old days, and this is like a, almost like a aluminium alloy finish, although it's just plastic. So this whole thing, this this is all this is not heavy at all. It's definitely digital. Um, you're not you're not picking up some uh, very high uh, class A or class B ampere. No, not at all. This is probably a class D. But for the fact that it is digital, it does sound really nice. So if I listen to it... So if I listen to some hard rock, it's a bit of a mess. I wouldn't recommend it. At low volumes, it's fine. But I definitely would not recommend this radio for hard rock. If you're going to be listening to some house or some light jazz or... Uh, just pop music it's fine but you're not going to be able to put this volume up and increase the bass and really uh, uh, feel the vibration or or anything like that not at all not from these little speakers and I want to just tell you that the speaker itself is 6 ohms and it is only 10 watts so you're getting 10 watts RMS into a 6 ohm driver so that is already telling me that this is more for your um, I wouldn't call it high end at all, but I'm um, more for the, the 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 listener who wants to have a better quality sound. I did test the radio the other day, which will cost half the amount of this radio, and the sound sounded absolutely terrible. So if I compare this to uh, other radios I've, I've um, uh, reviewed, the sound of this is good. But my disclaimer is it not in heavy metal or music that you want to put the bass up all right now let's just look at the features here you've got an option here for sound and a preset now you can go through the it's got four little options uh let's just get that okay there's the bass you can select the bass up and down plus four minus four treble same story if you put the treble on four and you put the d bass on there's the d bass i don't, I don't know what, really what that is but it uh, it's obviously just digital bass or something just to a little well in the old days we used to call it loudness and then it's got a surround feature which is also quite good there's no problem with the surround feature and you're listening to some background music the sound is actually really good and i can't really fault it, it it's got a warm sound it's but the minute you pump up the volume uh it, the sound goes a little bit all over the place but if it is just vocals or some guitar music or if you listen to that type of music there's nothing wrong with this radio it's got a clear sound it looks really premium and just to go through these specs to give you an idea it's two channels it's 20 watts rms so just 
just we don't have high expectations yet. It is 20 watts RMS, but 10 per speaker. So really it's 10 watts because we don't add up the wattage. So this is actually 10 watts. If this is a 10 watt speaker, we call it a 10 watt RMS uh, unit. And then the, um, the USB is USB 2. As I said, it has a digital amplifier. It's got Bluetooth. It's got something called the D-Base. It's got four uh, preset DSP audio channels, uh, audio settings, and they, they're called heavy, clear, soft, and vocal. And then there is a flat one, so you could call it a five channel. So basically, no DSP or heavy, clear, soft, vocal. Um, they're not extreme, meaning if when I've tested the LG and the other radios, when you go from like uh, heavy to clear, it's a major difference. Here, it's uh, a little bit more conservative, which is more what I like. I don't like extreme uh, changes. It's got a bass and treble control, as you can see there. It does have a surround sound. Uh, pretty, uh, it doesn't make a much, doesn't make much difference when you listen to like house music or pop, but when you're listening to uh, vocals, it does make quite a difference difference this around and I preferred it when it was on the display as I said it is nice and readable uh, it does cut you can can uh, Bluetooth an app to this device there is a apparently there's a, an app that comes with in the uh, app store which you can use it has no headphone jack and no uh, augs so you, you ain't going to be able to plug in a headphone jack here or a 3.5 millimeter augs because it does not have it and then as I said it uh, it is 10 watts but the Input power maximum you're going to be using is probably 20 watts, but nominal 14 watts. And the standby power, very efficient at 0.2 watts. All right, it has, as I said, it's got the auto power off. Uh, it doesn't weigh very much. It weighs, uh, this is 1.1 kilogram, and the speaker is 1.3. So the whole thing is under 5 kilograms. And... Um, that's about it so what i will just show you one last thing is what happens once you've set the clock if you unplug it will it forget the clock you know the um the the time so let me just show you how you do that right to set the clock you press the setup button and when you go to the setup it's asking you timer adjust and then it's got auto off which you can adjust and then the Bluetooth also got, and then the uh, software version, that's what that stands for. No disk, all right, then let's do the sleep. No, we want the clock, and now you will then press the up button here. Wait, uh, clock, yes, now we want to go to clock. Okay, so I'm adjusting the clock here with the right hand up button, and let's say it's uh, 204, right, there we go. And let's have a look and see what the time is. Right, so there you can see the time. I've switched it on and off. And now let's just see what happens if we unplug it. Because that does happen, you know, does it have a memory? Will it remember that? Or do you have to reprogram or reconfigure that clock? Right, I plugged it back in. And it wasn't for a very long time. It was only for about five seconds that I unplugged it. And let's just see if it remembers the time. Set up clock nope did not remember the time which is quite annoying so that's a little boo boo there so that means we want to make sure that this thing doesn't get unplugged all right so that's my little review of the panasonic sa pm 250 uh, radio uh, please don't be fooled by the fact that the box is 220 watts and 20 watts rms this is not a panasonic thing it, it happens to be a global thing most manufacturers lie about this it is not 220 watts that and anyway 220 stands for peak music power output basically what they're doing is they're adding every single device in this whole um, uh, music system, every transistor, capacitor, everything, and they're saying right, all the power that it could possibly handle at a maximum amount is the peak music power output. It is a complete farce, but the power it does say is 20 watts RMS, but that also needs to be divided by two because it is 10 watts per speaker. So this is a 10 watt RMS system. And just if you're not understanding that, it's like if you buy a car and somebody says, what is the tire size on your car? What is the mag size? And you say, no, I've got a 19 inch mag you don't say oh my car is 19 times 4 so my mag size is 19 inches times 4 because you have four wheels you don't say i have a 76 inch mag you don't you don't add them up the the one counts for all so this is a 10 watt 
uh, RMS music system. So that's just if you want to know about power and how people uh, tend to use marketing to try and get you to buy their products. Right, so that brings me to the end of this review. Thanks for watching. Cheers.